Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today, I want us to look at the Kramer's rule for solving a system of equations. The Kramer's rule for solving a system of equations. Now, this is a system of equations. It's a system of two equations. This is also a system of two equations. Okay, so solution. Solutions. Now let's look at the first system of uh, equations. 2x plus y is equal to 7. And then we have 4x plus 5y is equal to 23. Look at the board. Now the Kramer's to this how it works. This is a system of two equations. So when you are given this, what you have to do is to rewrite these two equations as this. You try to get a matrix from this using the coefficient of the, the variables here. So 2, 1, the coefficient of this one is 2, the coefficient of y is 1. This is 4, this is 5 times xy and this is equal to 723. Equal to the right hand side. We got 2 times x, 2x plus 1 times y. Why isn't it? 4 times x, 4x plus 5 times y. So equal to this one, 7, this one, 23. So this is the same as this. Now how do you obtain this? Then this is how the Kramer's rule works. Who works? Look at the board. To find x, x is equal to the determinant of this. You have this way. So x is equal to. Now, because we are going to find the value of x, this column is for x, this column is for y. And because you are going to find the value of s, you are going to repeat the y values here. 1, 5. I see it. This 1, 5. The matrix. This matrix. Now, because you are going to find the value of s, you are going to replace these two values, 2 and 4, with what you have on the right hand side, 723. Again, because you are going to find the value for x, you are going to you have to replace these two numbers, the first column with the values on the right hand side. So it's going to be, this side will be 723. Now, divided by the determinant of the original matrix, this matrix, 2, 1, 4, 5. Yes, the determinant of this original matrix. Now, those of you who do not understand how to find the determinant of a matrix. I have a video on how to find the inverse of a square matrix. And in that video, I treated determinants. Yes, I have to find the determinant of uh, matrices. So you can go and watch that video. Yes. Okay. So that will be this way. And this is equal to, so if you are going to find the determinant of this, when you arrive this way, you can find the determinant of this matrix. Now, to find a determinant, this is what we do for a 2 by 2 matrix. This time this, minus this time that. So it's going to be this time this is 35. 5 times 7 is 35. Minus 23 times 1. That is 23. Over, we are finding the determinant of this. 5 times 2, 10. Minus 4 times 1, 4. And this is equal to. 35 minus 23 is equal to 1, 2. Yes. This is 2, this is 1. And then 10 minus 4 is 6. So, let me write it well. This is equal to 12 over 6. And this is equal to 2. So, this means that the value of x is 2. Yes. So, we have seen that it's not being got at all. Now, what about the value of y? Now, the value of y for the down one, the denominator, this one will not change. This is the original matrix. So you find the determinant of the original matrix. But because you are finding the value of y, 
And I've told you that this is for why we are going to replace these values here with the right hand side. You see it, you not touch X. So this one will be 2, 4. And then replace 1, 5 with 7, 23. That is the values on the right hand side. Are you seeing it? Yes, these are the method rates. So this is equal to, now you are finding the determinant of this matrix. When it is like this, it means you are finding the determinant of the matrix. 2, 7, 4, uh, 23. 23 times 2 is 46. Minus 4 times 7 is 28. Over 5 times 2 is 10. Minus 4 times 1, which is 4. Now, this is equal to 46 minus 28 is 18. Over 10 minus 4 is 6. So it means that 18 divided by 6 is 3. So therefore, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Yes. So we can say that the solution to this system of equations is x equal to 2 and y equal to 3. It's not difficult at all. Now let's quickly look at the last question and say goodbye to uh, how to use the Kramer's tool to find uh, or to solve a system of equations. So let's look at the last one. So let me clean this one. Solution to the last one. We have x minus 2y is equal to 4. And then negative 3x plus 8y is equal to negative 6. We have an issue. Now, so again, let's try to rewrite this. And the coefficient of x here is 1. The coefficient of y here is negative 2. The coefficient of x here is negative 3. The coefficient of this one, y here is 8. Times x, y. And this is equal to the right hand side, 4, negative 6. You see it? So this time this is x. This time this is negative 2y. This time is this. And it's 3x, this time is 8. Now, I'm not telling this, then using the Kramer's rule, using the Kramer's rule, x, x is equal to the determinant of, now look at the board, because we are finding the, the value for x. Because we are finding the value for x, it means I have to replace the values here with the right hand side, as we did in the first example, or the first question. So, this is 4, negative 6, negative 2, 8. Yes, negative 2, 8. We are not changing negative 2 and 8 because we are solving for x. Okay, divided by the determinant of the original matrix. 1, negative 2, negative 3, 8. Now, it is equal to, let us find the determinant of this one. 8 times 4 is 32. Minus 36 and 82 will be positive uh, 12. All over 8 times 1 is 8. Minus 93 times 92, that is 6. So this is equal to 20. Divided by 8 minus 6 is 2. So this will give us 10. Are you seeing it? Now you want the value of y. y is equal to. Now because you want the value of y here, we are going to maintain 1 negative 3. Do you see it? And we place negative 2, 8 with the right hand side values. 4, negative 6. And divide by the original value. So this one. Yes. This is. Uh, can be used for this one, the same value. Yes. So at times you don't have to even work. You can just say, you go in, you did this one, you had two. You can just say two. You can divide by two, you go in the same thing. So this one, negative three, negative two, eight. And this is equal to negative six times one is negative six. Minus negative three times four is negative twelve. All over. 8 times 1 is 8, minus negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, and this is equal to, so here I could have just written 2, all divided by 2, because I have 2 here, 
you see, you see the matrix you are finding the, the this determinant. And this is equal to negative 6 minus minus 12 will be negative 6 plus 12 all over 2. And this is equal to negative 6 plus 12 is 6 divided by 2. And this is equal to uh, 3. Yes. So it means that, so therefore, we can say that x is equal to 10 and uh, y is equal to 3. So this is the solution to this system of equations. So viewers, this is how the Kramer's rule is used to solve a system of equations. Now if you have three equations, then it means that we have to find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrices. Yes, if you have three equations, then it means that when we have the resulting matrix will be 3 by 3. And you should be able to find the determinant of those uh, matrices. Yes, that's why I'm saying that I have a video on how to find the inverse of a square matrix. And in that video, I treated uh, how to find the determinant of matrices. So thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so.